Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are talking about the Black Stars, and uh, it's good that you caught us talking about the Black Stars. They've won today yeah. against Switzerland, a team that is what? Please, I think they are 15th, 15th in the world. Yeah. In the world. The winning spree has started straight to the World Cup until we bring the cup up. Boom. Because of one match. Yeah, but what is expected? Should we win 10 games before we go to the World Cup? It, it's a good start. We are showing that when the changes have been finally made to the team, now, but they've done this already. We've selected our players. Yes. Yeah, they're there. Now, I'm saying that since we have not finally put together the team, this is the better performance they have put out for you. I was telling uh, you before, we, when we, I was telling you that for me, when it comes to the Blasters, I'd prefer to be surprised uh, in a positive way yeah. than to be surprised negatively. Yeah, better writing yeah. them off, off now. now. And let them, you know, surprise us. Then if I would like your coping mechanisms, but we want to assure you that I'm going to deliver. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what's the name of the gentleman? The former Minas Commission boss who said he dreamt we have brought the cup to Ghana. Is it uh, Tony Obey? Yes, 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 yes. That dream will come to pass. So what, Ghana will win the World Cup? Why, 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 why are we not also playing? Are we not part of the 32 or so? Yes, yes. In, in, his dream, in, this in his dream, we won the cup. Yes. So Ghana will win the World Cup. Yes, yes, yes. And um, bring it to the Republic of Ghana. No, no, I'm not the one dreaming, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. But said yes. I believe in his dream. You believe? Yes. yes. So let's bet. No, 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 no. I, I don't believe in bet. <laughs> is he sure he was dreaming? Yeah, is he, uh, what is in this week? <laughs> there's, there's, in fact, he said somewhere they put it on the internet. He must interpret the dream from mm -hmm. anyway. oh, why? I just feel we can win this one. Oh, I mean, but you know, ah. it's realistic. We'll, well, we will do something. We'll do something. We actually we'll get to do. Well, I mean, if we get to round yeah. of 16 and we, yeah. we, we don't win our group, we meet Brazil in there. I like the way you are. I mean, <laughs> listen, you'll be shocked along the line. Yeah, I would like to be shocked. I prefer to be shocked. It will be a repeat of uh, South Africa, but this time around, there will not be any impediments. No mind Suarez, you, mind no... You, mind you, if we, if we get to the semi-final and final, I'll be on the street with you. What's ah, yes! We'll be very happy to go I just want you to know that it's going to come to pass. Uh, Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. To pass. In fact, I think that when we cross the semi-final, we should send more supporters. Yeah. Who will pay for that? Times are hard. This Republic can 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 pay for the excitement you will give to the people of this world when the World Cup. You. You come and sit here on state of play and tell them that we send I can give money. leeway to this Republic uh -huh. to pay. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, Kufa says something I believe in. We should not always look at the cost of everything and not consider the value of the same thing. So we should spend money. We should spend money and take people, people when we cross this. Are you listening to Ray? When Ray we cross, uh, facilitation them by who? Is it very public? The tax has money. To yes. Like to take more supporters when we are going to the semi final and entering the final. I tell you one thing when we return. When we get to the final, when, when we return from that's that. That's not holiday. When we, hey. return from, when we return from that trip, yes. we'll probe them. But somebody will not be able to account for them. And it will become a hard conversation here. No, you will come. You will see what you will see. I don't 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 about why? How? How? And I don't see it. I don't know. And then who are going to pay? Because when it comes to the state, everything is high. Yeah, we would regulate that. This is a new era. We regulate that. Somebody will charge twenty percent. When we win this World Cup, the economy will get better. People will be excited in this country. The kind of, in fact, the Christmas. Even if you don't have money in your pocket, the excitement, knowing fully well that you won the World Cup, is greater than any joy. Now, people sometimes look at poverty from different, multi-dimensionally. People might not have money in their pocket, but they have joy in their hearts, and that's greatness for them. Anyway, so, up of COVID. so 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 that's Raymond hoping that the miracle will happen. Yes. Um. What's well, so something akin to a miracle happened this week? The 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 swiftness with which the president sacked a man mm -hmm. he had vowed not to, because yeah. remember that the pressure had come, unprecedented pressure from his own party, to let him go. He stood his ground. He called the MPs to the meeting, told them, you know, stories, and they, they went away believing that the man with only for them to be here, James Amos said, the man didn't catch. So everything the president had done prior to this week was to say, as for Ken Friata and Charles Edubahe, I am not ready to sack them in spite of the pressure. And then I woke up. This must have been Monday. Was it Monday, right? Was it Monday? This is Monday. Yeah, Monday. Monday around 10 a.m. Yeah. They're about yeah. just before 12. The president has dismissed it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that was fast. You know, so when this thing first broke, the story in the Billy Crusading guy, I told I told a friend, nothing will happen. This guy will be. I was of the same opinion when I declared. Well, nothing will happen. Because of the times we found ourselves in. 
the times we find ourselves in. Now, we find ourselves in a situation, in a period where people are losing confidence in the That's government true, really. and the president yeah. to solve their problems. And so if around this time, your minister of the state in charge, in the minister of finance, uh, then deputy minister, goes about demanding 200,000 appearance fee, that's not even the issue for me, but someone wants to invest $500 million in this country, and you're demanding a commission of 20%, $100 million. Right. That, today's Ghana, 1.4 billion Ghana cities. Yeah. In 2020, uh, we power authority, their total revenue was 755 million. One man. You want to double that amount. You want to double that amount and put it in your pocket. Yeah. Look, at that point in time, the president had no choice. He was going to fire him. And if that happened to anybody, including even the finance minister, I'm sure the president would have fired him. You sure? Because, I'm sure. Because at that point in time, you can't keep him there. You have no justification to keep him. That's an allegation. Let's not forget. It's an allegation. Yes. Oh, but oh, but oh, this is not the first Oh, you may be arguing your... You but say, the president believes in... In, in all that. fairness, I will agree that the times are different. Yeah. Because similar investigation was done. Uh, even the BCU case. They forwarded it to what they call it, CID. CID so yeah. When the special prosecutor said, No, no, I'm actually probing no, this. Yes, me. between those two institutions, the CID cleared the man. Then the president said, Well, but it be cleared. What's the point? Give him a job on the president. Yes, in fact, so you can think from this perspective. And I agree with you that imagine these untouchable ministers are the ones who are at the center of this. Oh, the president would have said that no, this one will deploy to try and get them out. I believe the right system is that you can't just do this without uh, evidence. Let's test the system. Let me hand it over to CID. CID investigates one or two weeks. They'll come back as usual. Come and tell us that there's nothing really wrong. It was someone who said we couldn't pursue this matter further. And they'll be fighting first. Anasis group. You know the previous one? Also, they said, oh, we asked them for evidence. They were going back and forth. Anasis group will come and issue them and say, no, no, no. We provided all the things they asked for. The raw video and everything. We gave it to them. And so, okay, now we are still looking at it. The later on, they'll clear them. So, I expected something of that, and I've come to believe that's how we do business. We will protect our own, even if we will reprimand them to be within, but we will protect them from any embarrassing act coming to the government in this entirety. So I was not expecting any real action. When it came, even the termination, first, I was suspecting suspension that he will step aside for the investigation to happen. Which is what but the president had done in the past. That's what Even I'm saying. for yeah. some DCs and people. Yes, all of them. In fact, yeah, the gentleman who was yeah. purportedly engaging or accused of being engaged in Ghana, I'm saying. Yeah. The, uh, uh, is it Bosomi Fair yeah. So the yeah. DC yeah. there. Yeah. Was the, suspended. The president said that he was bereaved. Yeah. They were angry. He wanted said, to ah, go Yes, but no, take your time, oh. There's an allegation of a crime against somebody. The law cannot wait for you to go ahead and solve your private problems. Yeah. Imagine, let's say, you went and saw police caught a robber. Then the argument is that, no, the robber has a family member who is not well. So let the robber go and deal with the family member in the hospital. Like before. No, no, no. It doesn't the law should wait for him. Yes. I mean, how, what, what does that happen? Even traffic rules, traffic rules, they don't allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. Then later on, the rules change. They're quickly, the man went there. And they said they had resolved the matter. He's suspended or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I was suspecting a similar for the presidency must have put a lot on this or must have been extremely shocked by it for them to move from not even suspended straight to termination it will suggest in one folder the rot must have been very huge that just what, what many of us might have seen on the tape may not be the entirety of the issue that we are dealing with here because it should be too big for them to be that conclusion secondly it also gave a lot of credence to the report itself. Yeah. Yet to be aired reports. Yeah. It gave a lot of credence At that time, to it. it was just an article in the In fact, that. it pushed more people, including myself, to say, Child, let me look for the ticket and go and watch. But you see, Raymond, the point is that, yes, and you see, the sitting was categorical. The president had not yeah. held discussions with him. Yeah. He spoke with him. And this is video. You collecting the money. You saying, bring appearance fee. And I mean, worst of all, saying you need 20%. Well, the 20% not important. No, the 20%. For me, that's the most important thing. The fact that in this country, a minister yeah. says you should give him 20% of money that are coming into this country. And I know people who've been telling us that, look, mm. people wanted to come into this country and come and invest. We demanded money from them and they left. So you see, the greed. The I greed. can quote this guy because he was on air and he said it. The uh, what they call Asante Asim North MP. Uh -huh. 
and 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 then, then, and then he will never be a deputy no. minister again. Oh. No matter who you are, if you give him deputy minister position, he will not take it. Even when you have actually gone through the process of recruiting companies and brought them to the table, people will deliberately frustrate them so that they can give it to who they want for their own benefit. And so, see, this is he saying that that business, he has ended it. He will prefer to sit in his corner, do his legal business, and get some This one was a minister of state. Yes, I'm saying that. He is saying, as a deputy minister, mm -hmm. he knew how businesses were, investors were mm -hmm. frustrated mm -hmm. when they come into this country. Yeah. He, as deputy minister, and it shocked him to the point that he felt we were not serious. But are we surprised? Let's look at the ease of doing business until it stopped. Mm -hmm. Since this government came in, over the period, we have not improved ease of doing business. In fact, the best ranking of this government was like the lowest of the previous one. And that debate, we're having it consistently. So there must be something fundamentally wrong with the government that says, on one hand, you'll figure out and coach, you put on a bow tie and go and look for investors. And on the other hand, we treat the investors like we are in some form of criminal syndicate. Yeah, I mean, but or some some crime and get where we are going to. But the point you make is important, right? So this is not this is this is not um, out of the blue. This is not a storm in a teacup. It's it's almost like a trend, right? Yeah. So if the ease of doing business reporting indices are indicating that it's not improving, but again, I think it points to something. If you have an investment banker, yeah, right, as a finance minister, you have another investment banker as a minister of state. Then you have another investment banker at the you know pro, uh, the investment promotion yeah, FDI. center. Yes, the right? uh, GIPC. GIPC. Their thinking is different. All they've done all their lives is convince people to invest, mm -hmm. and they take their yeah, share of, of yeah. that. Right? They help you to invest. They facilitate the process for you, and then if you get your returns, they get a share of that. That is how their mind have been wired. That's how they've made their money. And Dubai is very good at adding private practice. So if you have them, those kind of people are the help. What do you really? What, what really were you expect? I mean, mostly the expectation people have transitioned properly. So many people transitioned from private practice into public yeah. work. And I mean, Ben Bernanke and yes, yes, in they, the US. They, they know the fine line. Come from yes, and they're able to work in this because not more watching but, see, but that's that's where they that's where they, they live in a society where the structures work and you know yes. that there's checks and balances and you've been found mm -hmm. out. You see, we must ask ourselves a very simple question. In deciding to make these persons ministers, what was the real motive? Yeah, it's true. What was the real motive? Yeah, was the motive to salvage the Ghanaian economy, or the motive was to enrich a generation? But that's that's a very. I think that 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 should be an obvious answer to that question. Okay, isn't the issue to fix the economy? Really, the economy better. Oh, really? How can every oh, really? president? That oh, really? Okay, so have you, if, if we didn't know the motive prior to the action, mm -hmm. one of the things in law is that you can push forward the action to justify or determine the motive. So what has happened over the period? Yeah. Which motive does it actually derive of? Mm -hmm. Except it changed along the line. But if we didn't know, let's say... This so let's, so about, you're looking at the actions... Yes. The, so, the, so you see their conduct in office, in office. and the results are there. So transaction advices. Yeah. To the issuance of Ghana's bonds. But the only time that comes up, they say, well, but um, Data Bank has always been transaction advisors in the past. Data Bank had always been transaction yeah. advisors. Fantastic. Others were transaction advisors too. What happened to them? What was the volumes that Data Bank was handling at the time? It's the reason why you lose out. It's the reason why some people don't take public office at so all. You see? Yeah. Because they know that they don't want to lose that role of transaction advisor. Yeah. They don't want to be in a possible conflict situation. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I think it's Black Star Brokerage or Black Hedge. Yeah, Black Star, Black Star yeah. They just and, and Martin, people have said before 2017, yeah. it was not they there. really got. But you see, you know, Evans, I seated here. If you see, if I were a minister, I wouldn't let my business do. I mean, I wouldn't let any, any of my companies do business with government. Yeah. Because you can never justify it. And part of the reasons you probably would say, I don't want government position. Let me be. Yeah. So, you see, the point is that in our part of the world, we, we joke with everything. You see, when they tell you, oh, but you're engaged in, uh, why is your, uh, the minister's company doing business? Oh, but you were doing business before. Not which is what they always were doing business <laughs> before, but now that you have come in, yeah. you change, change, change the dynamic. Change the dynamic. completely. So, so the two options you put on the table, I hear your conclusion being that the appointment were down to enrich generations. The evidence is there. <laughs> no, I think that on a greater scale, this, it's not only embarrassing towards the 21st century, 
It also sends a signal about the kind of elites we have in this country. So watch a normal state. Virtually everybody who has done well for himself, like some of the people who are in our governors, in private practice like Edu Bwain, should be interested in giving back to society rather. Yeah. So when they take public office, some of these people they take because they come to come just and reach yeah, I mean, the public. That's the and argument that has yes, been yes, held, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. You see the argument. I remember that if, if, that, if, you've not, say, yes. if you've not been a successful private person, you cannot. I cannot you shouldn't be appointed because to that. the belief was that successful private practice will prevent you from seeing money and say, Jesus, yes. I've not come onto it, and so I'm going to enrich myself. Yeah. But it appears, I don't know if it's greed or some underpinning value system that's completely off, it appears the opposite is what we are reaping. It's, it is, so the common sense approach, it's not working. And the people that we do not expect to engage some of these things, I don't want to go in it. Today, in any proper state, some major investigation will take the major books and all, perhaps all of our contracts that we have dealt with within the Ministry of Finance and be going through them. So, so that, that's, that's why yes. our topic was, should you treat the finance ministry as a crime scene? You have somebody I mean, you, is you have going to, to check every line and say, yes. your conduct, did you do a similar thing here? What happened? How did this people get this contract? How did this people also get the contract? Yeah. Any red flag, any sign of it is being reviewed. Yeah, and, 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 and it comes down to what the, the scope that the, the scope of work mm -hmm. that the special prosecutor will define for it himself as he looks into this. Is he just going to restrict and limit himself to the confines of uh, Galamsey economy expose? Yeah. Or is he going to look at that and say, well, which other businesses has Edubahin been the prime focal negotiator in for government? That's true. And they trace back to see yeah. What happened in those negotiations? Because you need to, you're right, yeah, you need to trace the they, they, yes. they must actually do that. A proper forensic they analysis of everything in Dubai has been involved in. Only, not only Dubai, the whole finance ministry, every dealing of the you're finance right. ministry. You're right, because if you read the As Asase, uh, Asase Radio's timeline yeah. of what happened, they, they allege that it is a senior uh, finance officer. Yeah. One of the senior officers at the finance ministry who introduced the shades Say, okay. to the minister. To, to the minister. So, right. so definitely there's somebody else there. You need to investigate. There's a structure that's structure that is, this exactly. yeah. You need to investigate everybody. And I'm, 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 let me put it properly. You need to investigate all transactions within that ministry. Yeah. And find I out agree. what has happened. You see, because, because also the possible of expo a possibility of exposures. See, we might have been in contract and somebody might have taken a part or some commission for it. Did they expose Ghana to all the huge amounts of money? So, for example, the people bringing the money, they are not stupid people. Mm -hmm. If I'm to do a project for 500,000, 500 million, and take 200 million out of it, send 300 million, I either do the project in a way that I'll profit massively from it so that I can recoup the 200 million, it can't be my loss, or I do it in such a shoddy manner. Or actually have to be promised something else to make up for because that, that last point business, made, yeah that last point we made is, is for me is the thing. So now we are having we see. So the, the question we need, we haven't asked is so this twenty percent he wants out of that investment. What is what is he going to give back to the investors? How would they recoup their money? How would they recoup that money? We know that one of the ways that has always been mentioned is through finance ministry going to parliament to ask for tax waivers. That's true. Yeah. Exemptions, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Anybody remember the Pullman, yeah, yeah, um, the, the, the Pullman Hotel controversy mm -hmm. when they were building it? When they went to parliament, they asked a huge amount of money, somebody was going to build a yeah. hotel, right? And and it's and, not as if this is the first hotel in Ghana, yeah. or we have not seen one yeah. before. We had yeah. Kempinski and others, so we're going to, we're going to huge millions and millions of, and nobody could explain what is the economic rationale to build a hospital. I don't understand, but a hotel. But then that that we haven't really and I right. hope they're not, not that yeah. yeah, exactly. So what what did, maybe the video had it in that meeting? Definitely the investors would have asked. Okay, so if we want twenty percent, then we want to give us special dispensation in these areas. Yeah, tax cuts, tax holidays. In, I mean, that is the way the guy is going to get his stuff back. And there will be a way that they have to get the money back. Absolutely. This, no, they're not for that Christmas. Yes, this company. Whichever group is also going to justify to a group of investors and other groups exactly. and tell them that 
listen, we are going to do business here yeah. for this and that reason. Yeah. It should be lucrative. Yeah, we are, gi we are giving yes. we are giving a hundred million mm -hmm. to get back a billion. Bring it, get back right? a billion, exactly. So, so, so that's how, how do we pay? Yes. We we yeah. how do we so, pay? So for instance, I can actually negotiate a tax holiday for yeah. a long period. Exactly. Yeah. And say yeah, because of this, give me a tax holiday. Yeah. Till I break even. And that invariably is taking money from the people's pockets. Okay, yes, so right. that person is going to work in this country. Yeah. Have a lot of tax exemptions they get. They have a tax holiday. Yeah. They don't pay any CIT yeah. to the government. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're continuing. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, 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 one individual was the beneficiary. Has taken 100 million. So and, yes. and even before the business starts, he's entered his hands into our pockets mm -hmm. and taken 100 million away. This business is going to be here for the rest of whatever time and will not pay anything else to the government. And so two hundred million dollars, right? One hundred million. One hundred million dollars. Yes. Think about all the all the hospitals we had hoped to build over the period, and which one we are supposed to build with this? A district of or anything close to that? Yeah. You think about one person being the benefiting in a way that's equal to a district hospital? Yeah. Why should that be the case? Why well, even so? No, why should it be the case to the point that it is a rich man? Why, 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 why is the rich the one that are compounding their riches? Yeah. Mm. For a country that today people are struggling to find small food to eat. Yeah. Should it, should it, should it not be consideration that, okay, no, let's not even think about, let's, let's think about why the poorest will find food to eat today. Why, why is this money not going to increase in leap for the poorest of our people? Mm -hmm. At a time that austerity is making life difficult for everybody. Why is the rich the one compounding their riches? Yeah. You made a very important point. Yesterday, the finance minister had a business lead in parliament. Of okay. course, he can't do it now because yeah, of all the business yes. And he was asking for 37.9 million euros. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you know what he's going to do? Yeah. Have you heard if you have one hospital? Yes. 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 Talk about the most yeah. dilapidated hospitals you can find. Looking for that money in, in, ten, in through um, a lot of waivers, right? Mm -hmm. That will lead to, will get the money, additional money, and then you add to it to go and build. So I'm, I'm just putting it in context. That's yeah. seven million mm -hmm. for if you have one that. Yeah. One person is asking for a hundred million for his pocket alone. So think about it. When the hospital is done, jobs will be given, lives will be saved, yeah. and people will contribute to our productivity in ways that are meaningful. The opposite of that is more people dying. Yeah. The opposite of that is people not getting jobs in hospitals. The opposite of that is the quality of life of the people in the areas affected by this declining. So, in very varied means, people's conduct puts a wretch in their pocket, affects the entire Directly. Country. And you see, these monies, we paid for it one way or the other. Oh, you paid that. Oh. Yes, we paid for it. It's, that's what makes this thing not a partisan issue, but an issue to do the survival of the people in this country more important. Because every time, and this, assuming within, within eight years, every year there's a deal like this. You think about it. Eight times. 100 million times 8. That's 800 million. Let, let, let me interrupt. Let me read a few of your messages before you. Hamza says, Good afternoon, watching you live from uh, in Kwanta Oti region. My name is uh, Masawudu. Uh, doctor uh, says, uh, says The daily minimum wage of 1488 pesos well, is a mockery to Ghanaian with this gross economic mismanagement, uh, which has a okay, occasion hardship. What can this token do to the worker? Even this amount cannot take care of one transportation. Mm. Patrick says Raymond is is wishful thinker. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the walker. Yes, yes, yes. Walk yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Famous Smith. Yeah. MPP MPs won get of Riata out. NDC MPs also won of Riata out. Yet we are using our scanty resources on committee debate his removal because the majority side uh, doesn't want to support the minority. Abu Akari says my my problem with the finance minister is that you said you take salary from the state, and yet you don't want to allow a uh, different person to be there. In as, in, as in he doesn't take salary from the state? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, a few of your, of your thoughts there. Um, by the way, enjoy the rest of your uh, evening, and we'll see what the special prosecutor is able to do.